Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you so much for being here. This is the Mystic Leo. My name is Isa. I am your friendly neighborhood intuitive tarot slash oracle slash psychic reader. And I'm also a very proud Leo. Thank you for being here, guys. Put them paws up top for me. It's good to see you. Um, we're going to take a look today at how the person on your mind feels about you right in this moment. Okay. So um, definitely, you know the drill. If you watch these enough, feel free to reverse the roles. Take it as it resonates for you. Leave the stuff that doesn't. It's probably for the next person. Okay. Description box has everything you need to know about me, including where you can find me on other social media pro programs, platforms, and <laughs> also my other channel, which is linked down below, Intuitive Tarot with Isa, which has all the signs readings on it. Okay. Last but not least, guys, please keep me doing what I'm doing by giving me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that all notification bell. It'll tell you when I'm going live, when I'm uploading, all that stuff. All right. Cool. Let's get an overall energy for you about how this person feels about you. Okay. So we're reading their energy. I will see how you feel about them too. If you know this person. All right. Overall energy. How does Leo's person feel about them right now? The person most on their mind, please. All right. I'm going to take it. Okay. Give me one more card, please. There it is. All right. Ooh, that's interesting. Ego and relax. I don't know if this person is trying to like ease off of you, but I feel like they're trying to take it easy. They may still be dating around. We'll see if that crops up when we do the reading. Okay. I'm going to put this here. Now I'm using today, a lot of people have asked about these cards. I haven't used them in the, in a while. They're called the tarot learning cards. Okay. Tarot learning cards. They have a lot of different, they have yes, no, the planets, the symbols, the, you know, short notes, the chakras, all kinds of stuff on it. For those of you who want to learn tarot, I do like this deck a lot. It's a good deck. Okay, I might, I think I have it linked below too in my uh, shopping. All right, let's see. Who's the person on Leo's mind, please? Who's the person on Leo's mind? Show me the person on Leo's mind. Show me the person on Leo's mind. Okay, could be an Aquarius for sure could also be a Libra or a Gemini. Okay. This person, um, is dominating your thoughts. Uh, they're funny, analytical, intelligent, um, quick witted, um, very decisive, probably very interesting if they're an Aquarius. Okay. So I get the ego and the relax, <laughs> like not trying to hurt the Aquarians feelings if you're cross watching, but, um, you know, I, I feel that uh, this person is is clear too, okay? But at this moment, I feel like this person may just be kind of chilling, all right? They're, they might be in their head a little bit about the relationship. Hopefully that resonates for some of you, all right? Let's see how they feel about you. How do they feel about Leo? This person could have really large feet too, let me say that, or weird ankles. Okay, we're not doing 50. Jeffrey, why do you guys keep giving me like a million cards here? One more shuffle. How do they feel? <clears throat> They're a little bit. So this person is a little bit confused about how they feel because they can be weighing other options. All right. I felt that with the relax and the ego, like maybe they're, you know, not quite there yet. Um, 
They could be very withdrawn from you at this time. We have the Hermit in reverse, so Virgo energy. We have the Seven of Cups. They have a lot of options. There's a lot of opportunities available to this person with the Knight of Pentacles. So this talks about maybe them wanting you to be patient with them at this time, okay? It may take them a long time to commit or settle down. Um, but they, you know, they, they are probably a trustworthy person. I just feel like they have a lot of different options, a lot of, um, you know, decisions to make here. They might be a little bit of, you know, a dreamer or a fantasy type of person, but I think this person is also very scared to potentially to commit. All right. They need to see like some longevity or it's going to take them time to make up their mind. Okay. What are their future? Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to find out how you feel. How do you feel about this person? Okay, you feel left out here with the Five of Cups, abandonment. Okay, what else is Leo feeling about this person? How do they feel about this person? Scorpio energy. You do love and care about this person or you have deep feelings for them, okay? What else is Leo feeling? You may feel that this person is important to you too. Leo, seven of swords. Listen, you know they out here acting funny. You might think that they're cheating on you. I don't know per se if they're changing. They, they could be acting like friendly with you or trying to friend zone you or something like that. But I'm telling you right now, I, I think this person's got a lot of stuff here. Ego and the and they're relaxed. They might even say that to you. Relax, relax. Like we're not in a rush. We're not in a hurry. But really this person is kind of um, like an avoidant type of person. I don't think they're dishonest per se. I don't see them as a dishonest person. I would feel that if the Knight of Pentacles was in reverse, if the Queen of Swords was in reverse or something like that, I don't feel like they're being dishonest, but they're probably not divulging everything to you. This is very Aquarian. Okay. <laughs> it's very Aquarian to just not say the things. Okay. So, um, I think they're weighing out their options. They're a little afraid to like get serious and jump into a long-term commitment at this time. And you may feel that from them. Okay. They're like friend zoning you or giving you weird behavior, like trying to act like your friend, not really like your lover, but there's more going on between you two. And they're not saying that to other people. So, I already know. And why don't spy on them. Just let them be. Honey, let them be. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. How would you know who this person is? How would you know who they are? Give me two cards. Show me how Leo knows who this person is. I'm sure just by some of the things I'm saying, y'all know who this is. Okay. Um, we have the lover's card. This person may feel very tempting. They may feel like a, a, a twin flame. You might be in and out of each other's lives, even if you've never been in a long-term relationship with this person. And they got that big one out. <laughs> okay. you, you knew it had to pop up. All right. Okay. I feel you, fam. All right. So you just out here slinging wood everywhere. Okay, my guy. All right, my dude. And if it's a girl, squirt, squirt. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of passion. There's, there's a deep connection with this person, probably, you know, into when you're intimate, when y'all be doing the things. Okay. So, um, but there's a lot of stuff that you, that you share in common with each other. There's a lot of commonalities here. They could be a Gemini. We have Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Okay. Also, I feel like this person could be a fairly good, when they want to, they can communicate well, okay? All right, there's a lot of desire and passion here. All right, what are their future actions toward you? Okay. Future actions, future actions toward Leo. Oh, Lord, I'm not liking this. What are their future actions toward Leo?
Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to say this. Nine of Wands, Five of Wands, Four of Swords in reverse. Um, they may eventually tell you, I feel like they may eventually divulge that, um, like, I feel like they're going to get really defensive toward you, okay? Um, hmm. I'm going to clarify this because it's not clear for me. I just feel like they're going to create a conflict for some for some reason. OK, like there's going to be a discussion about this, but it doesn't go very well between the two of you. Let me clarify. I rarely get it to where I'm like, what the hell are you guys trying to say to me? All right. <laughs> Let me see. Can we clarify this person's next actions, please? Oh, yeah. Six of Swords. Okay. It's like they're creating a, a reason to get away from you. The Empress. Okay. Page of Swords in reverse. This isn't good. Okay. So I'm going to say, guys, there are future actions toward you. Um, or to try to get away from this. Okay. With the Empress, it makes me feel like there's an expectation or they feel like you're too good from them for them. There's page of swords in reverse. That's not good. That's hella, hella pettiness. That's a lot of lies, deception, um, talking about you, stuff like that. I feel like this person, um, Though they can be nice and, and stuff like that, they have a, another side to them that I don't really like. It, it's almost like when this person feels backed into a corner, um, especially when it comes to like uh, their freedom right now. And I think this person is having a lot of stuff around what they really want and I, they're not sure. They like the benefit of what happens between you two. But when it comes to the commitment, they're not so sure. Why? Because you guys have a lot of feelings here, okay? And um, it feels really sad to you that this person may be putting you in a friend zone or trying to make this not serious when what's happening here um, is that there are a lot of, there is a lot of chemistry between the two of you. Okay. I just don't see this person taking it serious and doing anything to like move forward on this, but cause some sort of commotion to maybe divert you so that they can kind of get out of Dodge. You know what I'm saying? That six of swords coming out right, right away is very like kind of telling of the energy. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's look at a potential outcome. Their next moves are to create a diversion to get away, okay? A reason. They might tell you, "Oh, I need some I need to grow. I'm I'm just so not mature. I'm not ready for this." But that's that's not true, okay? This seems like one of the times they're going to actually lie to you. You know, I want to take this person as an honest person because I have the cards upright, but maybe they're not, okay? I can be wrong. Okay, um, show me the potential outcome, please. <laughs> You're going to let this go, okay? This is all cards in reverse. It's not good, and they're all majors in reverse. So... <clears throat> You're going to you're going to let go of this the devil in reverse and that's the most important part of this entire spread that's here, okay? This person is narcissistic. You're going to find that out. They're coming up as somebody who's not like you would take them for up front, but you're going to find out who this person really is, okay? Um it, it's the roles are going to be reversed like it's just not they're going to want to be in a type of relationship with you that you don't want to be, or they want to force you to that. Okay. So if you try to stay with this person, what this person is going to try to recommend is like, let's just be open. Let's just have a good time. Um, they may even be in, I keep getting like bondage or something weird. Okay. They might be in a really weird shit. So I don't see you like putting up with this. Okay. 
Um, I feel like this is going to take your life out of control, Leo. It's not good for you. Aries in reverse here with the emperor. Okay. So we have Aries, we have Taurus and we have Capricorn. It could be one of these signs too. I just feel like this isn't going to, this isn't going to be good for you. You're going to remove yourself from this because it's everything that you didn't want. All right. You might have this emotional attachment with them, but it's not good. I want to I want to clarify how they feel really quick, okay? Clarify how they feel about Leo really quick. They're very confused. Oh, three cards came out. Oh, oh. Uh-uh. Okay. Listen, this person is not in love with you. This is strictly dickly. This is strictly sex. This person is trying to friend zone this whole thing. Um you know, emperor in reverse, queen of cups in reverse, ace of cups in reverse. It's, it's all right here, guys. Okay. So when I clarify all of this, this is not good. This person's just lonely. Okay. This person's lonely. I don't know if it's a rebound thing, but you know, they'll be making you wait a while. They may not tell you up front. I don't know that they try to lie to you. I think it's that they try to skirt around the conversation, okay, um, and, and make you wait. But honestly, I don't think this person is very serious about being with you, okay? Um, there's a lot of ego here with the emperor in reverse two times. Um, this person could have issues with their dad, all right, um, just like – this could be your kid's father too. For some of you, this is your kid's father bugging you, trying to get back something. I don't know. I feel like they watch you from time to time or they spy with this page of swords in reverse. Usually when it's up, I get it more spying, but I also get it spying in reverse too. Okay. Now, some of you may still love this person. Let's say if it's like an ex or somebody you're still in a, you could be in a relationship with this person, but this person's feelings are not really there. This would be self-serving for them, okay? Just because there's a connection, it's good when y'all are together, you have a good time, you have hot, juicy yum-yums, you get what I'm saying? Um, but they're skirting around all this stuff because really they don't want a a real connection here. Okay. I hate saying that to you guys, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to tell you guys the truth. Now I thought about doing a singles reading again, but I'm not going to do that. I did it on the, the weekly energy check-in guys. All right. So if you want to check the singles reading, it is on the, on the weekly energy check. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get um, one of the angel cards that I like to get for you guys at the end of the reading. I hope this got, I hope this was like helpful for you. Okay. I hate bad endings, but maybe I should see what's next really quick. Maybe I should see that, huh? Here's the card you guys have. Archangel Raphael. The healing angel is with you supporting your healing work. Some of you are healers, okay? And you're out here doing the work. That's good. Now, I'm going to see what's coming toward you, okay? Because I'm nosy as hell. Girl, I got to know. Sir, I have to know, sir. For guys, take it as it resonates. For, as a female, however you identify, opposite, you know, trans, bi, all the genders, whatever, okay? I'm Gen Z. I don't know how to be appropriate. Sorry, Gen X. I'm Gen X, not Gen Z. What the fuck? I've had Gen Z on my mind though. Okay, let's see what's coming next for these people who want to know. Okay, what's next? Okay, there's a decision. You're changing your path. Some of you are, um, you know, suddenly leaving this behind, withdrawing from this person. What's next? Okay, some of y'all are just going to remain single for a while. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, you're going to stop talking to this person. Some of you, um, you know, you just may feel like this is just bad timing for you to date right now. So I think you're going to choose to like focus on yourself moving forward and you're not going to date. Okay, is there anyone coming in the near future? Show me if there's anybody coming in the near future. Give me like six months. Is there anybody coming in six months? 
there's definitely somebody coming in six months. The first card that came out is the Ace of Pentacles. The second card that came out is a Two of Pentacles. So maybe for some of you, definitely for others of you, but also the Two of Pentacles can talk about juggling. So you may meet more than one person in the next six months. And then here you have the um, Two of Swords at the bottom, which means you may need to make a decision about either one of those people, okay? All right, cool. Now I feel complete. I hope that was good for you guys. I enjoyed this reading very much. If you did, please give your girl the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and come on back. Love you guys. Meow.